Before we proceed on our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. At the end of this video, you should be able to Define polynomial expression Identify the steps in dividing polynomials using long division Identify the steps in dividing polynomials using synthetic division Perform division of polynomials using long division Perform division of polynomials using synthetic division Let's get started Polynomial expression p of x is an expression of this form where the non-negative integer n is what we call the degree of the polynomial and the coefficients a sub 0, a sub 1, until a sub n are real numbers. Let me present to you an example of a polynomial expression. 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus x minus 12 wherein we have four terms and the degree of the polynomial expression is 3. The first term, 2x cubed, contains 2 as a coefficient, negative 4 for the second term, 1 for the third term, and an exponent of 1. And the fourth term is negative 12, which is the constant number. To understand more about polynomial expression, let me show you an example of not polynomial expression. The first expression is not polynomial since a term has a negative exponent. The second expression is not polynomial since a term has a fraction exponent. The third expression is not polynomial since variable is inside a radical sign. Now that you understand what is a polynomial, we can now proceed on the division of polynomials. There are two ways on how we divide polynomials. The first method is what we call the polynomial long division. And the second method is what we call the synthetic division. Polynomial long division is a method used to divide polynomials. Polynomial long division is essentially the same as long division for numbers, while synthetic division is a shorthand or shortcut method of polynomial division. Let's have an example. Let us divide 2x squared plus 5x minus 23 by x plus 5 using the process of polynomial long division. First, we need to identify the dividend and the divisor and write it in the form dividend over the divisor, wherein the dividend is 2x squared plus 5x minus 23 and the divisor is x plus 5. Now that we already know our dividend and our divisor, we can now solve it using the process of polynomial long division. Writing the dividend inside 2x squared plus 5x minus 23 and the divisor outside x plus 5. We can now solve this using divide, multiply, subtract, then repeat. We will divide the first term of the dividend over the first term of the divisor. So we have 2x squared divided by x is equal to 2x. Then, let's proceed with multiplication. Multiply each term of the divisor to 2x. x times 2x is equal to 2x squared. Then, 5 times 2x is equal to 10x. After multiplication, we can now proceed with subtraction. Subtract each terms. Subtract the first terms, 2x squared minus 2x squared is equal to 0. Since the answer is 0, we will not write it anymore. Then, 5x minus 10x is equal to negative 5x. We will bring down negative 23 and proceed with division. Divide negative 5x by x, we have negative 5. Then, multiplication. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Second term, 5 times negative 5 is equal to negative 25. Again, proceed with subtraction. Subtract the first terms. Negative 5x minus negative 5x is equal to 0. Then, negative 2, 23 minus negative 25 is equal to 2. Thus, our answer are 2x minus 5 for the quotient and 2 as the remainder. We can now write our answer in this problem 
using the formula quotient plus remainder over divisor, wherein our quotient is 2x minus 5 and our remainder is 2 over the divisor x plus 5. So the answer is 2x minus 5 plus 2 over x plus 5. Let's have another example. Let us divide negative 18x plus x cubed plus 7x squared by x minus 2. We need to first identify the dividend and the divisor and write it in the form dividend over the divisor. Both dividend and divisor should be in standard form. The dividend is negative 18x plus x cubed plus 7x squared. Notice that this is not in standard form. We need to write it first using the highest exponent, x cubed. Proceed with the quadratic term, 7x squared, and the linear term, negative 18x. And the divisor is x minus 2. Now, we can now solve it using polynomial long division. The dividend inside and the divisor outside. We can now solve it using division, multiplication, and subtraction. First, we need to divide the first term of the dividend over the first term of the divisor. x cubed divided by x is equal to x squared. Then, multiply each term of the divisor by x squared. x times x squared is equal to x cubed. Then, negative 2 times x squared is equal to negative 2x squared. Then, we can now subtract. The first terms, x cubed minus x cubed, is equal to 0. The second terms, 7x squared minus negative 2x squared, is equal to 9x squared. Bring down negative 18x. We can now proceed with division. 9x squared divided by x is equal to 9x. Then, multiplication, x times 9x is equal to 9x squared. Then, negative 2 times 9x is equal to negative 18x. We can now proceed by subtraction. 9x squared minus 9x squared is equal to 0. Then, negative 18x minus negative 18x is also equal to 0. Therefore, the quotient is x squared plus 9x and we don't have any remainder. We will write our answer in the form quotient plus remainder over the divisor, wherein the quotient is x squared plus 9x. Since we don't have any remainder, therefore, the answer is just the quotient itself. There is a shorter procedure when a polynomial is to be divided by a binomial of the form x minus r. This method is called synthetic division. In this procedure, we write only the coefficients. For example, p of x is equal to negative 2x raised to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 11x minus 7. The coefficient of the first term is negative 2. The coefficient of the second term is 3. The coefficient of the third term is 11 and negative 7 for the last term. Notice that we don't have any term with the variable x squared. Therefore, the coefficient of x squared is 0 since it is missing. And negative 7 is what we call the constant term. Let us now solve the first example using the process of synthetic division and see if we can get the same answer. We all know that our dividend is 2x squared plus 5x minus 23, and our divisor is x plus 5. First is to arrange the coefficients of dividend in descending powers of x. The coefficient of the quadratic term is 2. The coefficient of the linear term 5x is 5. And we have the constant number negative 23. Then, we need to place the value of r in the upper left corner, 
In this example, x minus r is equal to x plus 5. So, x plus 5 is equal to 0. Then, transpose 5, we have x is equal to negative 5. Therefore, our r is negative 5. Then, we need to bring down the first coefficient. In this example, we have 2. Then, proceed for step 4. Multiply the r by the third row to find the second row. That is negative 5 times 2, which is equal to negative 10. Step 5. Add the first row and the second row to get the third row. So we have 5 plus negative 10 is equal to negative 5. Repeat the procedure for step 4 and 5 until the last number in the third row is obtained. Negative 5 times negative 5 is equal to 25. Then, negative 23 plus 25 is equal to 2. The last term or the last number will be the remainder. So the constant number is negative 5. And 2 is the coefficient of x. Write the quotient and the remainder using the third row. So the quotient is 2x minus 5. And the remainder is equal to 2. To write the answer, we have quotient plus remainder over divisor. Wherein the quotient is 2x minus 5, the remainder is 2, and the divisor is x plus 5. Therefore, the answer is 2x minus 5 plus 2 over x plus 5. For the last example, let us divide negative 18x plus x cubed plus 7x squared by x minus 2 using synthetic division. We need to find the dividend which is negative 18x plus x cubed plus 7x squared and the divisor which is x minus 2. Then, we can now proceed with the step 1. Arrange the coefficients of dividend in descending powers of x. To do that, we need to arrange first the dividend in standard form. So we have x cubed followed by the quadratic term 7x squared then negative 18x. So the coefficients are 1 for the x cubed, 7 for 7x squared, negative 18 for negative 18x. Since we don't have any constant number, we will write 0. Proceed with step 2. Place the value of r in the upper left corner. In this example, x minus r is equal to x minus 2. So x minus 2 is equal to 0, transpose negative 2, so x is equal to 2 or r is equal to 2. Bring down the first coefficient. In this example, we have 1. Multiply the r by the third row to find the second row. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Then, add the first row and second row to get the third row. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. Repeat the procedure for step 4 and 5 until the last number in the third row is obtained. 2 times 9 is 18. Negative 18 plus 18 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. So, we have 0 for the remainder, 0 for the constant number, 9 for the coefficient of x, and 1 for for the coefficient of x squared. Write the quotient and the remainder using the third row. Therefore, our quotient is x squared plus 9x. Since we don't have any constant number, we will not write 0 anymore. And the remainder is 0. To write the answer, we will use the formula quotient plus remainder over divisor, wherein the quotient is x squared plus 9x and we don't have any remainder. Therefore, our answer is simply the quotient itself, x squared plus 9x.